Hey guys, welcome back to Beast Quest, Series 24, Book 4, Crow Call, The Father of Fear. And it's finally time to wrap up Series 24 of Beast Quest with, of course, Crow Call, the finale. So, like always, in depth story analysis and in my overall thoughts on this epic adventure. So, make sure you've read Series 24 up to this point, otherwise, why else would you be watching this video unless you don't really care? Um, but nonetheless, like always, let's go through with this. Um, Eleanor and Daltek had made it out of the forest where they had fought Morax. Now it was now it was them against Rhea and the former hero, Tom, who had been turned evil by Rhea's magic. Rhea had a mysterious plan, so our heroes had to stop Rhea, no matter what it was. They arrived at the palace of the former king, Jorah, who used to control Pylorus before his greed got the better of him, and... It, he sealed his fate as he summoned a beast that he couldn't control. It destroyed not just the king, but majority of Pylorus, until Tanner managed to stop him and turn him into three weaker beasts. However, our heroes discovered a magical parchment that Rhea had recently touched. It showed a vision of King Jorah, not summoning Krokor, but becoming him. Now our heroes were really fearing the worst. Tom and Rhea were putting the tokens in a cauldron to create Krokor, Tom wondered if Rhea could really control Crocol. Rhea informed him she could. Then she asked for Tom's red ruby, which allowed him to communicate with beasts, so she could properly control Crocol. He reluctantly did so, only to have her cut his hand cut his hand with a slash and have him swipe the jewel from Tom's hand. Plus Tom's blood was now black. She locked him locked Tom in a, in a cell room and ran out. We also learn that Rhea's plan is to get revenge on Avantia. Still, I'm assuming for the trouble it's done for her mother and herself, probably. Anyway, Tom felt some terrible feeling deep within him. I wonder if I was right. I wonder, I wondered that, I wondered previously before this, I wondered that Tom would turn into the final beast, and it seems it might be the case. So, looks like my theory was right, and I was just a rough theory. I wasn't really sure about that. Eleanor and Daltic ventured forth and further went through the castle. They found a secret switch in the throne room and that led them down to some dungeons. Soon they encountered Rhea, and before Eleanor could shoot her, shoot her, Rhea informed if she did, she would never see Tom again. When Eleanor asked what she had done to Tom, a beast roared. A beast could be heard with a roar. Eleanor rushed past Rhea to a cell along with Daltic to find Tom transforming into a beast. Great plan by Rhea. What better way to make Avantia suffer than make than take that own hero, take the own, uh, take the hero that ruined not just you but your parents' plans and turn him into the beast, the vi the very creature he the very creatures he fights every day, turn him into a beast, and him have him destroy Avantia, the kingdom he's supposed to protect. Very twisted, very cool. Uh, the transformation was complete. He was Crocol now, and he easily broke free from the cell, passing Eleanor and Daltek like they were nothing. We just got some decent personality from Crocol, that he was a powerful kingdom-conquering beast. He found his way to the throne room, where he fought Tana. There he encountered Rhea, who tried to control Crocol with Tom's red ruby. However, Crocol was more powerful than she imagined, which forced her to make up a lifeline. She explained that she could take... She could take Crocor to Avantia, the kingdom of Tanner, so he could get revenge. That would be that that so he could you know because Tanner beat him before. So by conquering Tanner's kingdom of Avantia, he could get his revenge by destroying that kingdom, which fits in Rhea's plan as she wants to get payback on Avantia anyway. Crocor let her go and smiled for his upcoming revenge. Eleanor and Daltek picked up Tom's weapons and went after the villains. They spotted Crocor and got into a fight with the beast. Daltek had more enchanted arrows ready, but only two shots for Eleanor. Her first miss, just one arrow to go. Then Rhea showed up. She headed to the uh, Rhea showed up, and she headed to the highest tower with her lightning staff. And our heroes figured out Rhea's plan. Just like series eleven, Rhea intended to summon the beasts from one kingdom, and so they could attack Avantia for revenge. Eleanor and Daltek tried to race after Rhea, only to have Eleanor caught by Crocol. Now he was finally within. His now Eleanor was caught by Crocol and within his grasp. Eleanor managed to break free by jabbing Tom's sword into Crocol's hand. She made a run for, for it as Daltek wrestled Rhea for the lightning staff. Also, Eleanor spotted Rhea, dropped the red jewel, 
which she assumed she took from Tom. Anyway, during the battle, Eleanor's bow was destroyed. She had no way of firing her last arrow, and after revealing Crocol could shoot black slime from his hands, she took the fight into another chamber. With nowhere else to run, it was now or never. Eleanor lunged with all her might and successfully plunged the enchanted arrow into the flesh. The transformation was reversing, and Tom was back. However, he didn't appear to be moving. Tom was awoke. Tom awoke, only to discover the battle was not over yet. He was a ghost. He was a ghostly presence, unable to do any to do any form of communication with the living. Crowquill appeared and explained it was a mental battle for control of Tom's body. As the fight clashed, Tanner's spirit appeared and he reforged Tom. Ta he Tanner. Re yeah. Tanner appeared. Tanner's spirit, and he reforged Tanner's old sword for Tom, which enraged Crowquill, who blasted Tom with a mass amount of slime. Then Crocol claimed he would retake control of Tom's body and kill Eleanor. Tom didn't know what to do until Tanner came back and explained to him why he was worthy of Master of the Beasts. So, finally time to know that. Not because of might or magic, but due to his pure heart. He also explained there's always a way to get out of any situation before fading again. This gave Tom the inner strength to use Crocol's slime against himself, using it as a slingshot to lure him close close enough to slash Crocor, then impaling and finally decapitating the beast. Before Tom returned to his body, Tanner explained he got a new power due to defeating Crocor. He could now con contact the previous masters and mistresses of the beasts for, for their wisdom and guidance, including his father. Tom awoke in his armour, golden restored, but the fight wasn't over yet. Rhea still remained. However, she had teleported out of there before our heroes had the chance. Tom explained Rhea wouldn't fight Advantia until she had a new plan, and of course they'd, ready, they'd be ready for her when she strikes again. Dantic explained a feast would be awaiting them when they returned home. And that is the end of series 24. Um, overall, it's a great series. Um, finally we get the story I've been wanting. Tom turned into a beast. I mean, because we had like Silver as a beast. It'd be nice to have... So if that makes... This is the second of the four, the original four companions, which are Eleanor, Tom, and Silver and Storm, turned to an evil version of themselves. Is it better than Silver? It probably... Oof. Thing is, wolves are more in... I don't know. Crocol? Ah... Oh. I guess I probably should say it's better because it's the final book and Crocol is probably more powerful than Silver. So yeah, we'll say it's better than Silver. But I don't like I don't like saying that because I just have a s ah. Hmm. I'll I'll tie him for my first spot. Will I? Oh, I don't know. Crocol and between Silver two. Flip it, heck. I'm still saying Silver's my favourite. Just, I don't know. It, it might mean my partialness due to the wolf thing. I think I prefer more animal-like beasts than um, monstrous-like um, beasts that are humanoid-ish. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah. Um, those are my thoughts on what I prefer. I think Silver is a better book, but Crocol is easily second place. You know what question... Crocodile will be second place for me because it's finally what I wanted for a long time. Tom turns into an evil beast. Great stuff. Sure, that beast is really another presence taking control, uh, while as Silver was him becoming more aggressive and more me beasty like. I guess that's why I prefer Silver, is because when Silver transformed, he became a more beasty like version of himself. When Tom transforms, he becomes another presence entirely. I guess that's why I prefer Silver. But still, the fact Tom finally becomes an evil beast, and he was actually a evil henchman throughout the series is kind of awesome. But yeah, um, this book in its own, the story of uh, I I had a little few scuffles here and there with the analysis, but I think I did pretty well. I really enjoyed the conclusion. Obviously, this book is probably the best of series twenty four, which is not really a surprise. The series twenty four normally gets best at the end, where Tom finally confronts his dark side and all that stuff. And I kind of predicted this, and that was just a rough guess. Rhea, Rhea's plan is just another revenge ploy, which is kind of established for her background of her ca of her parents and stuff. Pretty generic. Um, Daltic and Eleanor, 
uh, they get the typical stuff to do. Delta gets a badass moment tackling Rhea the lightning staff. Elena gets a lot of badass badassery, stabbing Tom, uh, stabbing Crowcall with Tom's sword, getting, uh, wielding Tom's weapons for a period of time, trying using her enchanted arrows to restore Tom to his goodness. Um, and uh, as for the Rhea herself, like I said, I've already gone over her. Her plan is just typical revenge ploy. She gets shafted, and the fact that she believes she can. can she could control Crocall. She underestimated her opponent, where it seemed that Crocall would have taken over the driver's seat um, if that had gone that way. Um, and as for Tom himself, Crocall, Tom slash Crocall, um, Tom wasn't really, you know, well, the Tom we got, you know, Tom himself, he didn't have much villainy to do in this book because all his villainy was done in the past three books. It's like we got more good Tom at the end and him fight get fight and control for his body back and uh so that's essentially what he does gain more power from that which is awesome and crocodile himself being this tyrant beast like a, a be a kingdom conqueror makes him more powerful than other beasts so that's awesome there i don't think uh, there might be a few but i don't remember many beasts up to the levels that have enough power to destroy whole kingdoms in a simple boom um but yeah Crocall is impressive, uh, and uh, I think I like I said I will put it as the second best book, and I've already explained why I think Silver is better. I think it's because I prefer when a character turns evil, that they become still themselves, but just a more aggressive version of themselves, like Silver was, while Crocall was kind of a presence taking over, like a Doctor Jekyll, Mister Hyde type thing. So yeah, but I st I think I preferred e uh, Tom evil. Van Crokel himself, to be honest, but I still think Crokel was awesome, nonetheless. Um, yeah, so either way you like it, we still got Crokel, we still got an evil version of Tom, both as a henchman and as a beast, so I'm happy all the way around. This is why I love this series, it gave me what I wanted to see all uh, for a series that could have been done easy peasy. And either Beast Quest was pulling it off because they tried to find a way to do it right. Or they just didn't have that idea in mind. And if they did pull it off because they want to do it right, you did a, you guys, you did a great job. Anyway, that's it for me for Series 24. Um, I can't say the name of the next book. One, because I don't have the next books for obvious reasons. And two, because I haven't got the knowledge of what the next book is. So Series 25, nonetheless, is next. And I'll be looking forward to getting those books when it comes out. I'm going to try and start get, gathering some specials now. Um, before uh, other books come out because I think the new next books come out in June So that's the plan. Um, I'll upload this video I'll see you guys next time and after this video uh, of course when it's uploaded it will be Ryu uh, well, Actually, it'll be Ken then Ryu from Street Fighter from Lego DC Superman's custom builds Having said I'll see you next time until next time guys like always like subscribe like good stuff till next time peace